My name is Libby Fisher and I'm 14 years old. Koalas, they are my favourite animal. I just love everything about them. There's one coming down. I have heard that they do believe that koalas will be extinct in Queensland and New South Wales by 2050 and that does make me really sad because then that just means that our Victorian koalas are all that's left. I'll climb up and get her. Yep, so this is Bonnie. Hey sweetheart. I know. Good girl. The main threats koalas face are scabies, so Cercoptic mange, which is a little mite that gets under their skin. They also face habitat destruction, so their home is being logged and destroyed. You're all right. And also koalas are facing cars, so they're getting hit by cars and they're also getting attacked by dogs because when their habitat is destroyed, they then have to go find the new one. It's important for the younger generation to know that they can do something to help and that you don't have to say to yourself, when I grow up, I want to. You say, I want to do this now. So I started fundraising in grade five. I said to mum, I want to do something. And so we came up with a little idea to go to a market and to raise some money. And I sold little things like Australian pencils, little key rings, and it just basically grew from there. All the money that I raise, it goes to wildlife rescuers, carers, and a few zoos all around Australia. I believe we are almost at $22,000 in the past three years. That money goes to buying formula for the koalas, pouches and everything. It also pays for vet bills because rescuers get nothing for free, they're all volunteers. Ready to take them. We met Libby around about 12 months ago. She came up for her first visit. She was very quiet um, from when I first met her. Now we're the best of friends and there's no stopping us. Whatever Libby wants will be her future. I see a big future and I can see her making big changes in the wildlife world. So we're about to release these two koalas that um, are rescued. Yeah, we're about to release them just out in their natural habitat. It's a little sad because I'm not going to see them obviously again. And they're just the familiar faces, like you get to know them really well. But it's a happy day too because they're going back to their home. Teary, but proud, yeah. proud mummies. Yeah. It's sad, but it's nice to see them there eating. They look happy. So I do think people should care more about the Australian wildlife just because it's what makes Australia, Australia. So that's why I try and spread the message that the wildlife does need our help. No voice is too little, no hands are too small to help save our wildlife. 